Jupiter is a celestial body of extremes, it is enormous, royal, and yet it is delicately covered in a blanket of clouds. Jupiter is the fifth planet in the solar system, and it is the only planet that separates us from it. Jupiter and Saturn form the outer boundary of the old inner planets, which our ancestors were already aware of because they are not visible to the unaided eye or even the most basic telescopes. If you'd want to leave Earth and journey to the furthest limits of space with us, give Simply Space a thumbs up and look forward to the videos that are in store for you in the future. Let's set out on our voyage to the enigmatic Jupiter. The solar system's Colossus Jupiter is the largest planet in our solar system, which should be obvious, but its gigantism extends beyond size as it also holds other astounding records. Although it is a gas giant, and these are typically thought to be not particularly thick and massive, one of them has a mass that is absolutely astonishing, but the vastness makes up for it. Jupiter is 318 times more massive than the Earth and would still have 2.5 times more mass if all the other planets in our solar system were added together. At the same time, it is traveling at a speed that astounded scientists. Jupiter would start to shrink if it had any more mass because of its density, but it still stays what it is dignified, vast, and sublime. Jupiter is sometimes referred to as the unborn star by astronomers because of how similar its composition is to that of the Sun. Jupiter is also rich in hydrogen and helium, which puts it in close proximity to celestial bodies known as brown dwarfs, which are similar to unborn stars. However, Jupiter would need much more than this to shine as brightly as a star because the fusion processes that enable the enormous light discharges of stars are only possible in stars that have already formed. Despite being the most massive planet in the solar system, there is not enough mass to generate the pressure necessary to start the fusion processes. It would require 70 to 80 times greater mass. Jupiter being a king among the gods is significant because the planet's namesake was none other than the monarch of the gods, in Greek mythology, Zeus is referred to as the father of the gods. The Indian Indra and the Nordic gods are other highly revered deities that are seen in other cultures. Thor Jupiter was revered as a god of joy who was merry, sociable, and lived life to the utmost. Accordingly, the planet Jupiter is also known as the Great Bliss in astrology. Anyone who honors Jupiter or has Jupiter as their astrological godfather, such as the signs of Sagittarius and Pisces, should constantly be on the verge of happiness. Jupiter's inhabitants are regarded as being kind and cultured, just like the god, who, due to his immense size, rotates more quickly than everyone else. Jupiter is always moving quickly, even at its rotational speed, leaving all other planets in the solar system in its wake. Jupiter rotates once around its own axis in just 10 hours, which equates to a speed of 12.6 kilometers per second, by comparison, the Earth spins at only 464 meters per second. Jupiter also has a ring system. The fine ring system was also discovered late, only with the sharpest telescopes and space probe technology, the fine dust rings became visible. Jupiter hits the more subdued notes as far as its rings are concerned, its neighbor Saturn is scarcely to be outdone. The middle ring emits a particularly strong light, while the outermost ring is the weakest and almost perceptible. The innermost ring, also known as a halo, has easily visible particles. Saturn's ring system has a diameter of more than 1 million kilometers, so even if Jupiter's ring system has a total diameter of more than 640,000 kilometers, the father of the gods is not quite comparable to Saturn this time. 000, 000 kilometers in mythology, Juno is the goddess of birth, marriage, and care. She was married to Jupiter and the source of our month's name, June. Therefore, it makes sense that NASA chose the name Juno for the first Jupiter spacecraft, which launched on August 5, 2011, from the Cape Canaveral Missile Station. It took over five years to finally reach Jupiter's orbit while also studying the magnetic field. Whether the gas giant has a strong core will be determined by Juno over many years. The finest measuring tools, in addition to a special radiation-protected camera, have been used on board the space probe, Juno, to measure the surface of the planet and provide unique photos. 
The spacecraft is equipped with a magnetometer, equipment for monitoring plasma and radio waves, and a tool for measuring Jupiter's aurora borealis. In addition to Juno Pioneers 10 and 11, Jupiter is typically regarded as being well visited. Ulysses in 1992 and Galileo in 1995 have already been close to Jupiter. Both Voyager 1 and 2 were there in 1974. The Saturn probe Cassini in 2000 and the Pluto probe New Horizons in 2007 were the latest spacecraft to arrive before Juno. Jupiter's colorful cloud cover protects the gas giant, which is encased in a 50 kilometers thick layer of ammonia crystals that are dispersed in various densities in various strata of the cloud cover. The mythological god Jupiter is also claimed to have covered himself with a veil of clouds with the clouds he sought to physically conceal his faults. Storms below the cloud cover occasionally force fields to move and along with the sunlight generate fascinatingly bright vortices. The parallels between mythology and contemporary space exploration are fascinating. Jupiter was not always as decency as his wife would have liked him to be. He had numerous affairs and did not leave out any intrigue in the heaven of the gods stupidly for Jupiter Juno was the only one who could see through his veil of clouds so there was no need for secrecy. Jupiter blows itself up again after all, it expands its magnetic fields so far that it is the second largest after the solar magnetosphere on the side facing the sun. The astronomers of Rome could see Jupiter, but with their technology they could not have known anything about the clouds that actually existed. The magnetic field of Jupiter is about 20 times stronger than that of the Earth and exhibits considerable abnormalities. It extends 5 to 7 million kilometers into space on the side facing away from the Sun and up to 700 million kilometers on the other. There is at least one minor quirk at play. Jupiter's geographic south pole is close to its magnetic north pole. Scientists are attempting to determine whether this situation and the extremely fast rotating speed are related to the red patch of the gas with the aid of the Juno space mission. Anyone who looks at Jupiter must be aware that he does not see a solid surface, instead, he only sees the upper layers of gas and clouds, which appear to be a solid surface. Therefore, it appears that the red spot is not a mountain range or any other type of material formation but rather a storm. With the aid of Juno, experts were able to use the Jupiter to help them determine this. On Earth, strong storms need air currents and temperature gradients over oceans to form because there are no comparable waters on Jupiter. Because of this, storms on Jupiter must develop differently and the low-pressure system that produced the red spot must have been much larger than our planet. Here, storms are brief events that rarely reach maximum speeds of 250 km per hour or a little more. The first and largest moons were discovered and documented in 1975 by the Pioneer 10 space probe researchers have recently become particularly interested in the mysterious moons of Jupiter. Jupiter has 67 officially confirmed moons, the largest and best known of these are Io Europa, Ganymede, and Callisto. Experts believe that the gas giant has around 200 moons and satellite-like formations orbiting around it, though this number is uncertain. With a diameter of 5,262 kilometers, Ganymede is the largest moon in the solar system and even bigger than the planet Mercury, but scientists also think that it contains significant salt water reserves. As of now, everything is based on mathematical hypotheses because no one has really found or observed them, yet, if this suspicion were shown to be true, Ganymede would be a good contender for extraterrestrial life in our solar system. The researchers have high hopes for Ganymede because it is the only moon with a distinct magnetic field and a thin atmosphere. A space probe would need to be built that could get close enough to land on Ganymede in order to study the moon's specific composition. Jupiter is the third brightest object in the solar system after Venus and the moon, making it easy for you to take a look now and view the father of the gods for yourself. You may either do some searching or check a current star chart to find Jupiter's precise location. What do you now think of the solar system's largest planet and monarch of the gods? Would you like to visit that location and view the gas behemoth for yourself? Do you believe that more manned space flights will soon be feasible? As usual, please share your thoughts in the comment box.